In today's video, we're going to take a look at adding bottom sheets to your app in Swift UI. We'll also take a look at briefly customizing them to look your apps feel using obviously apps like maps, stocks, and other popular apps. So that being said, drop a like down below, hit subscribe, open up Xcode. This is Xcode 14.1. We're going to create a new project and dive right in. So we'll stick with a iOS app template. I'll call this cool bottom sheets because we only do cool stuff in this channel and it's going to be swift and swifty UI. i'll toss it onto my desktop here and since xcode 14 has live interactive previews by default we won't need a simulator so cool there is our simulator and it's weird that it actually loads fast now and doesn't make me wait a minute but that all being said let's go ahead and first and foremost create a button here and when we tap it we're going to show said bottom sheet and then we'll take a look at customizing it so let me just create a button here and I will call it tap me. And inside of here, we're going to set a state uh, variable. We're going to update a state in that case. And what we're going to do is when that state is set to true, we will show, you know, set bottom sheet. And when it's set to false, it'll go away. So we're going to say showing bottom sheet. And by default, it will be false because it'd be weird if our app launched with a bottom sheet shown. Inside of here, we'll toggle this guy. And let me just go ahead and make this look like it didn't, didn't get pulled out of uh, the gutter with this button here. So we're going to go ahead and stick with a bordered prominent button. And on the right hand side, we'll see our button show up right there. I don't know about you guys, but for some reason, developing in dark mode, it just is so much cooler. So we're going to go and flip that as well. And let's actually get our bottom sheet to show up. So the way we do it is through a modifier actually, and it's called sheet. And you'll notice here, there's actually two of them. And the one that we want is the one with the a, uh, is presented state binding. And then here we have a view builder where we'll pass the actual view for the bottom sheet that is going to show up. So here I am going to simply use our state from up above. And for now, the view that we're gonna do is just a label. So we'll say cool bottom sheet. Go ahead and compile that and hit the refresh for your preview. And if we hit our button here, we should see this obnoxiously large bottom sheet, which I don't even know if you can call this a bottom sheet. I guess it's a modal view controller pop up. So let's actually make this look like an actual bottom sheet and talk about how to customize it. And it's fairly simple. Before we do that, let me actually abstract this label to like a reasonable looking view that doesn't look like we are five. So we're gonna go ahead and create a bottom sheet view here of type view. We're gonna want a body inside here, of course. And all I'm going to do is I'll create an H stack with a few different images and we'll just make it look somewhat nicer. So here we'll have star and let me just add some padding. And I'll go ahead and copy and paste this maybe a total of four times. Let's fix that alignment and just update these. So this one, I guess, will be a bell. I think globe is one of them as well. And I believe house is also one of them. So on the right-hand side, let me go ahead and tap this and we should see our actual view in here. And it would be a great idea if I tossed the actual view, hit compile, command B, hit that refresh button, and boom, we have our four icons in here. So let's take a look at the two most common things that you will use to customize your sheet. First and foremost is the size, and this is through a modifier called presentation detents that takes a set of detents. Now, ignoring the fact that Apple chose a dumb word in detents to define this, the vast majority of folks don't know. Um, essentially, you can pass in you know, either a medium or a large size, a fractional size, which is basically how it sounds, is a fraction of your screen height. You can also hard code a height. And the most interesting one in here, which I won't go too deep into, is you can actually implement the custom presentation detents protocol and uh, have it calculate all the logic for sizing your sheet. And I'll let you know which uh, popular app actually uses this that I have a good friend that works on. So first and foremost, let's actually use medium and large and give this a run on the right hand side. So command B and let's go ahead and do that. And you see by default, it presents it to be medium. We can use this little grab handle and make it large, make it medium again, and then swipe it away as well. Now, even with medium, this is kind of large for the amount of content in here. So what we can actually do is let's actually change this to, let's be, let's do a hard coded height of a hundred, right? It's a hundred points. Let's go ahead and refresh that. We'll hit this and we see this is much more appropriate. Maybe if we had something like a text in here that says select, and let me give it a font style of a title, go ahead and refresh that. You'll see this just looks so much nicer. 
Now we can't actually drag this up, so it might be slightly annoying. So what you can also do, like we saw before, is chain these together. So I'll do medium and let's see what that looks like. All right, we'll hit refresh here. We'll do this and we get presented in, you know, the height, the hard coded height and the select is basically on top of the pull handles. Maybe a hundred isn't actually enough, but we can pull up to be medium. Let's finally look at the fractional one, which I think is just called fraction, no all. And we'll do 0 0.2 here, go ahead and refresh this on the right. We'll go ahead and hit the button, and here we have this presented with 20% height. And what I find is this is the one that's usually most commonly used, just because using a percentage to represent the height uh, is less uh, prone to issues with different device sizes, right? You've got smaller devices, you got the Pro Maxes, the Pluses, so Using a hard-coded height is questionable, uh, though it is available in case you do need it. Now, one other thing that I'll call out, well, two other things, I guess, is you can also get rid of the pull handle if you don't like it. So there is an option in here to get rid of the presentation drag indicator, and we can specify visibility here, and there is hidden, automatic, and visible. Automatic, more often than not, shows it when you have more than one type of detent in here, implying you can actually change it. So you'll either use hidden if you really don't like how it looks or visible, which is how it is by default if you have more than one detent. Now, I personally like having this show up just because it's kind of it looks kind of nice first and foremost. And then it also tells the user that, hey, you can grab this and drag it up, similar to how Apple does it in the Stocks app and Maps and you know tons of others. And the last thing I'll mention, like I briefly glossed over earlier, the custom uh, detent here is used by DoorDash, for those of you familiar with the uh, food ordering app here in the US. So they use uh, this custom one for their restaurant menus. So they let menus uh, showcase their restaurant uh, options in a variety of different list formats or grids, and they actually show it as a bottom sheet. And I've noticed, or if you guys have used it, you might have noticed that each of the bottom sheets is slightly nuanced in how it's presented. And the way that they actually achieve this is by using the custom detent protocol here. They pass in a struct that implements that and all the logic for actual presentation resides in that object. So just a quick little cool thing that uh, I wanted to share. I always find it interesting to see how real apps and real large scale companies are using these things from Apple. Because oftentimes as you know, technical people, we build that cool stuff and it's like, well, what the heck is the point of this? So that is all I've got for you guys today. Let me know if you use bottom sheet uh, detents or presentation detents, I should say. This is also available in UIKit. I've got another video, I believe I covered last year of doing this with UIKit, but since Swift UI is what all the rage is, I figured I'd do this video as well. If you haven't dropped a like down below, do so for the YouTube algorithm. Let's get the channel numbers looking uh, good again and subscribe if you're new here. Comment any questions. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.